So in Gary's mod, we've seen a lot of useless mods. We've also seen some really handy mods. And today we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're going to find some mods that are surprisingly pretty usable. But not only are they usable, but I'd even go as far as to say convenient. Guys, I hope you had a fantastic Valentine's Day. I decided to skip uploading because I, I did a video prior on the day and it was really late and I thought, you know what, screw it. No point in doing another video. And I needed some time to enjoy the loneliness. Embrace it. But of course, that's a farce because I'm not alone. I have Odessa. And the first mod is going to be the selfie camera. Now you can finally be that TikToker slash vlogger that you've always wanted to be. And, oh god, does this angle not make me look that good. <laughs> now, of course, I would say that this is just playing the game from a different angle, but obviously you're not supposed to do it from this angle. It's supposed to be for portraits. You know, selfies. Because it's the selfie camera. And obviously, you know, you press left click. And look at that. A portrait of the decade. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on Insta. By the way, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, link's in the description. Getting a chiseled jawline like this doesn't happen overnight. All right, that was cringe, I'm gonna delete that. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing too crazy. Oh, but look at this. Right click, and you can do the double hand technique. You know the whole stance where it looks like you're holding it up with both your hands because your phone is so damn heavy, but it's got a proper aesthetic, and I gotta say, I dig it. Other than that, that is literally all this is. So of course, we do have more to showcase than just taking dumb selfies. What about this? I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the standard box in Gary's Mod, and if you break it open, well, nothing really comes out, except what if things did? And that is exactly what this focuses on. Do you need a new radio for your car? Or hell, maybe even a new boot. Just don't expect anything crazy, like you obviously can't kill Odessa with it, sadly. And after a while, everything does eventually disappear, but if we were to keep breaking this, you can see we got a little box. In fact, wait, is this ammunition? I have no clue what this is. It is an, an empty box. Let's go ahead and try it again. So the chance of you getting something is random. Now we'll say that there is console commands to increase the chance of getting certain items, but now you don't have to worry about getting nothing anymore. I mean, can you imagine the disdain of breaking open a crate and getting little more than shreds of wood. But now we get knowledge. Something you would have no clue about. Let me get out of your way. Or even whatever this thing is. All right guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Before I downloaded this, I was kind of expecting um, like health kits and stuff, but that is obviously not the case. In fact, this is the most random shit I've ever seen ever. So like for instance, what the hell is this? So I guess this one isn't as useful as I, as I was hoping it to be. I mean, it's more realistic. All right, so maybe you're not satisfied with the very few items that you get. Simply put this command in. All right, and of course, don't forget to increase the minimum. We're going to make this 15 as well, just so everything is nice and good to go. Now we're gonna get 15 props every single time. So if you wanted a very messy, very cluttered crate opening experience, now you got it. All right, there's really no getting around it. This is a, this is kind of a useless mod. It's realism. It looks good. If you're gonna break crates open, I mean, God damn it, there better be some stuff in it. All right, Odessa, can you leave me alone, man? Okay, okay, I need to redeem myself with this final mod and that's going to be, well, we can activate buttons by shooting them. That's right. No longer do you have to worry about moving up to the button and pressing E, or maybe like you're locked behind something and you can't access the button. Now you can simply shoot the button like a goddamn action hero or James Bond or some sh and the button will activate as you'd expect. There's also a small chance of sparks, which I gotta be honest, I don't know what the sparks do, but it looks cool. And of course you can just go absolutely nuts if you want. However, don't think that you can lob a grenade or shoot a rocket to activate the same thing because explosives do not activate the button just because you can obviously, well, cheat the system. But what about a crossbow? And a crossbow will indeed work. So this is just a nice little handy mod, something you probably will never need, 
But if you ever do need it, it's going to be nice. And it's also just a fun way to just go about your day, you know. Maybe you want to go up here and you want to activate both of these. You could shoot that and that at the same time. And bada bing, Bob's your uncle. Or if you want, you can even do it multiple times. There we go. Three at once. All right, let's go into this room here and let's go ahead and try to shoot the button here. I don't even know what the hell this does, but honestly, like I said, it's just fun to do it. And by the way, guys, it does not need to be a button like this. I'm pretty sure this works for most buttons in Gary's Mod. So if you have like Wire Mod or something, I imagine it should work with that as well. I am way too stupid to figure out how Wire Mod works, so I'm not even going to get into that. But let's go ahead and shoot some more buttons because that's the whole reason I downloaded this map. And I gotta admit, this is pretty neat. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this. Leave a like, subscribe. Links will be in the description. Oh my god, this is so cringe. I'm a little vlogger. <laughs> Let me know what you think about these mods in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and farewell.